Hey everyone, this is Lance. Here at the Noglog, we wanted to make a video to help future Carnival cruisers with that tough decision, should I or shouldn't I get the Carnival Cheers drink package? So in just a few moments, you'll see a detailed chronological breakdown of every alcoholic beverage Brandy and I had on our recent seven day sailing on the Carnival Dream. This video is really intended for those upcoming passengers that just don't know and they're wavering back and forth, should I or shouldn't I get the drink package? We understand that feeling because we've been there before more than once. While there's a lot of opinions out there that could try to steer you one way or the other, most of them lack a real tangible reference to the who, the what, the where, and the when you'll actually be drinking these drinks on your cruise. The drink package is a steep upfront cost to pay if you don't have the answers to those questions. So having this drink by drink real life example to compare your drinking habits to and your tastes to, that just might be the key to helping you decide should you or shouldn't you get the Cheers drink package. Let's start with day one, embarkation. So you see we include the name of the drink, the time we ordered it, the venue we ordered it from, and the total cost of the drink, including an 18% gratuity that's automatically added on to all drinks. If you're sailing out of Galveston, Texas, like we are here, or out of the state of New York, your Cheers program will not start until 6 a.m. on day two of your sailing. Now we still wanted to show all the drinks we had on day one for reference, as you're gonna wanna budget for that day in addition to the purchase of the Cheers program. As we see the final tally from day one, all of these drink purchases are out of pocket. They are not part of the Cheers program. So we don't have anything to compare just yet. So let's take a look at day two when Cheers begins. All right, day one of Cheers in the books. This was a full sea day. We took advantage. We're on pace with the program to get some value out of it. Tomorrow's another sea day, so let's see if we can keep it going.
And that's a wrap on day two of Cheers. We're still increasing that value. It's easy to do on those sea days, but we've got three port days coming up. So let's see how our first port, Mahogany Bay, affects the value of our Cheers program. And all things considered, not too bad for a port day. We only had a couple of drinks in port. We really saved everything for being back on the ship. We might have went a little too hard too late. Let's see how that's going to affect our next port day in Belize. Did you blink? I hope you didn't because you may have missed all four of our drinks that we had in Belize. Now we may have went a little too hard the night before, but tomorrow, even though it's a port day in Cozumel, is New Year's Eve. So having a little recharge day was in our plans all along. Happy New Year! And with that, we surpass the threshold to get value out of the Cheers program purchase. We are in the positive, so to speak. Let's see what we can add on to that here on our last sea day and then summarize everything for you at the end.
we finish our last day of sailing, you can see our grand total is $965. That's how much we would have had to pay if we got all of these drinks without the cheers package. So that gives us a $229 value. Would we have gotten all these drinks had we not purchased cheers? Probably not. But just goes to show you what you can take advantage of with the cheers package. And you may have noticed we didn't even include non-alcoholic drinks in any of these tallies. That's just an additional benefit that you get with the cheers package. When creating your budget, don't forget those additional gratuities, what you're going to drink in port day, and what you're going to drink on day one if you're sailing out of Galveston or New York. There's many other nuances we could discuss about the drink package, but we wanted to keep this video simple. We wanted to show our example of what we had, and hopefully that's helpful to you in making your decision on whether or not the cheers package is right for you. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.